And I'm gonna put these labels on these glass jars that I picked up at the dollar store. And I got a bunch of different assorted sizes and they're perfect for my kitchen pantry. And this is what you're gonna need. You're gonna need a credit card. You're gonna need some good packing tape. You're gonna need some printed off labels on regular computer paper, but I've printed these off on my laser jet and some warm water. Now I'm gonna cut these down to size so they will fit onto a piece of the packing tape. And as I said before, this technique will only work with a laser jet printer. It won't work with an inkjet. I'll show you later on in the uh, video of what happens when you use an inkjet. Okay, and now we're gonna put the packing tape onto the graphic and I've put a little dime on the table and just so when I go to pull the tape up, it makes it a little bit easier. Just a little hack. And I find this works best if you use a good quality packing tape. It seems to adhere the ink better. And you're just gonna take that credit card and you're going to really press down that tape right into that paper. Now just peel it up off the table. Now I've cut all the excess tape off around the paper and the back you can see is just the plain paper and the top has the packing tape on it. And I'm just gonna finish up all the rest of these. Now we're gonna take one of those grat labels and put it in the warm water and it's gonna curl up and you wanna leave it for about 30 seconds. Okay, 30 seconds is up. And now what you wanna do is you wanna unravel it and take all the paper off the back side. You're just gonna use your finger and rub off all the paper. And as you do that, the paper will come off and the lettering will stay on the packing tape. It takes a little bit of patience and you might have to dip your fingers in the water and just wet it a little bit around the corners or the edges, um, but just keep rubbing until all the paper is off of it. Now I'm gonna get the rest of these done. Once you have the labels done, you wanna just set them aside and let them dry. And as they dry, that stickiness of the tape will come back to it, so it will stick on your jar. Okay, now I'm gonna put this flower one on one of the jars and show you how it adheres. If you have a little bit of the extra tape uh, above the graphics, you can always just take your scissors and just kind of Trim them down to the size that you need them. And as you can see, it's sticky and it's gonna adhere right to the glass jar. So make sure you have your glass jar nice and clean before you put the label on and you're just gonna set it down gently, get all the air bubbles out of it, press it down firmly and it'll stick right to your jar. Now these of course are not dishwasher safe. They will just peel right off, but you can just wipe them down with a damp, damp rag if you need to. Okay, now I'm gonna show you what happens when you use an inkjet printer. As soon as you go to rub off that paper, it'll take the lettering right off also. So this is a project only for a laser jet printer. And there you have a fun way to make quick, easy labels with packing tape for your pantry. I'm gonna make some of these after I'm done my pantry jars for my craft room. And these are the five sheets of labels that I have available in my Etsy store. If anybody's interested in purchasing them, I'll put a link below in the description and you can purchase them and make your own labels. 
I hope you've enjoyed today's tutorial and have inspired you to make some of your own labels with packing tape. Thanks for watching and have a great day.